everybody and welcome to the first of it. I, I don't know if this is the only one I'll do with this, but every now and then I just see a topic of something like, oh, I just thought of that. That's really interesting, but it's not really enough to do a full video on, so I don't actually do a video on it. But I've been having a lot of these, so I just thought of something that I just, just blew my mind. I'm like, why hasn't nobody ever brought this up? It involves the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies. In the Sam Raimi Spider-Man movies, I've done my review on the first two ones. My first one was taken down by YouTube, and my second one is still good, but it's a two Parter. But in any case, one thing that I never noticed before until it just dawned on me is there's a humongous plot hole with those movies with the way the people talk about Spider-Man. It is unrealistic because we have three sides. Let's just, the main thing that I drew this point home for me is the part in Spider-Man 2. We got Mary Jane uh, there, we got Harry there, and we got Aunt May there. And you have this whole thing of Peter is taking pictures of Spider-Man, and everyone knows that. That's no big, that's no secret. Peter Parker is the one who takes pictures of Spider-Man. So we have... Uh, we have Harry Osborn, who already hates Spider-Man because he thinks Spider-Man killed his dad. And we have Mary Jane, who loves Spider-Man because Spider-Man saved her life. Or at the very least, has fond feelings for him. Why don't they ever argue? Why isn't it ever brought up when Harry says, Spider-Man killed my father? Why doesn't Mary Jane say, uh, you know what, I don't think so. Spider-Man saved my life on a bridge that night that your father died. I don't know where your father died or how, but Spider-Man was with me that night. In fact, that brings up another point. Nobody knows that Norman Osborn was the Green Goblin except for Spider-Man and the Butler guy who brings it up in the third movie for no reason. But in any case, why isn't there people that are still talking about, is the Green Goblin out there? Is he still out there? Is he gonna attack us? Is he gonna... Like, why isn't that ever brought up? That is never brought up, but one thing that it just never occurs to me is nobody ever really questions each other on Spider-Man, you know? Like, why is it when Harry says, have you taken any pictures of Spider-Man? And Aunt May says, the less you see about that man, the better. Why doesn't Mary Jane say, hey, Aunt May, that guy saved my life twice. He saved me from getting thrown off a building and a bridge. I mean, why are you so negative to Spider-Man? That guy saved my life. You know, why isn't that ever brought up? None of these characters, they all have their individual feelings for Spider-Man, but they never intersect or clash with each other. They're always just, Harry hates him, Aunt May doesn't trust him, Mary Jane loves him, or at least has fun feelings for him, but they never ever clash on that. They never talk about that with each other. They just keep their own feelings to themselves. The only time it ever even is brought up was Harry is mad at Peter Parker takes pictures of Spider-Man, which in any case, there's this assum assumption that he knows Spider-Man, that he really knows Spider-Man, which in any case, you can tell by the photos that he's taken, they're on top of skyscrapers, so it's pretty obvious that he is Spider-Man if they were taken from those buildings because nobody else could get them unless they were Spider-Man. But in any case, everyone just assumes that he knows Spider-Man. He's with Spider-Man. When um, Peter tells Mary Jane in the first movie, I take photos of him, she says, well, has he mentioned me? I'm like, why do you automatically assume that he knows Spider-Man just because he takes photos of him? He could be like, like I like how what, Harry, what uh, Peter says in The Amazing Spider-Man, he's like, Harry, I took a photo with a really long lens. You know, it's like anyone automatically assumes just because he takes pictures of him, he's like close buddies with him or something. Where that is true because he is Spider-Man, but why does everybody assume that? Everyone assumes that Peter and Spider-Man are like that, and even though they are more like, you know, this because they're one person, but everyone assumes that Peter Parker and Spider-Man are close just because Spider-Man takes photos of him. I mean, you see some guy that takes photos of a celebrity, you don't automatically assume that the photographer is really close with it. In fact, you probably think the opposite because people hate that guy for taking photos of him. In any case, that's just one of the big plot holes that I've never seen anybody mention that everyone, like, you have some people that don't like Spider-Man, some people that distrust Spider-Man, and one woman who was saved by him twice, and they never ever bring it up with each other. I think that would be a topic that would go around the conversation table a couple of times. Anyway, I'm Lazy99, this is just something that came to mind. Be sure to check out more of my other videos on my channel. And wait for more coming soon.